I can tell that fall is here, not just because the anime season has begun, but also because when I woke up this morning, it was cold as shit. I went out on my front porch, had a cup of coffee, was checking the weather, and it was so fucking cold, it was muggy, and it was raining. So, a beautiful day, a beautiful day. <laughs> Just, anyways, besides that, I'm gonna ask, like, how's everybody doing right now with, you know, their everyday life, and how's your week been? And since fall is quickly approaching, I bet all of you are getting ready for that winter time because you're going to have to put on the long sleeves and cover up, electric bill, so forth, so on. So yeah, I mean, fall is coming. And it's not just the anime season that is coming. Winter is also coming. Now, I will say this. There's one thing I'll quickly want to mention before I get into anything. There's a couple things I want to cover. I want to cover my backlog. I want to cover some of the things that's been going on along with what aired yesterday. So there was an anime series that aired yesterday that was called Lance. And I watched it. I, I checked out the first episode like I always do when it comes to anime seasons. And I did say in my uh, What Will I Watch for Fall 2015 that I would give it a shot. And... I'm just going to say my thoughts here about, you know, the first episode because, and not even do a review on it because from my first impressions of it, it was very, this is my personal opinion, but it was very cliche and it didn't have anything that I haven't seen before and what it had going for it was just, I guess, a horse, just a fucking horse and I'm like, what the fuck? So, just... Lance is not a series I personally am going to watch. If I am told by you, Cheevitz, that it becomes amazing around episode 2 to 3 or 4, I might give it a shot. But for now, it's not something I want to take my time to review. I'd rather save and leave spots open for other series and also be able to have time to get to my backlog and review some of the old series I used to review. For instance, you know, like Pandora Hearts, Claymore, I want to get back to Vagabond, and then many other series, you know, like Curtico No Basket. Many things like that. There's a lot of series I want to get back to reviewing, and for now, if I don't really feel a certain series, I don't feel like I should actually watch it or review it, because I should probably use that extra time for my backlog. Now that I've explained that, and why you probably haven't seen a review on Lance, there's a couple of shows that are coming out today. I think it's called a Hack -A Doll or whatever. It's like a anime short that's coming out in a couple hours, and most likely the time I upload this video is probably already out. But for now, though... The, the Hackadoll, I don't know how I feel about that one either. It's an anime short. I'm not one to really try to review a lot of anime shorts. It really depends on how the story and how engaging it is. But from what I saw of it, it just seems to be like a Vocaloid type anime short. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out just to see how it is. I might put up a first impressions depending on if it is good or not and it meets my taste. And then there's another series that comes out later tonight. I think it's a uh, Heavy Object. I, I think that's what comes out tonight. I, I could be wrong. And there's one series that comes out very fucking late. Like, it comes out at the time Oharu did last season. As you remember Oharu, how it came out at, like, 12 o'clock at midnight. That's kind of where, you know, it's going to come out at tonight. Like, this other new series called uh, Heavy Object or something. So, we're going to have Fairy Tale, and then we're going to have heavy object that will come out right after it so there's not really much coming out on a friday from what i can see so far so friday's gonna be an easy day hmm. now besides that one let's talk about some of the backlog things some of the things i talked about i was going to be trying to get back into so all week this week i have been watching a couple series mainly one of the series that have caught my attention is ace of diamond or diamond oase or whatever how you say it just you know ace of diamond very good i am loving that series now the reason why I, you know what, I'm not even going to say it, I'll save it for the review of my first impressions, I'm not going to say, but Ace of Diamond, I have enjoyed it quite a bit, I have been binge watching it a lot, and I will say this though, I'm pretty much done with season one, I, I'm done with season one, and yeah, it, it's quite the fun ride, very, very fun. Now, another series I have uh, been watching on the side is uh, Kuriko. I've been trying to watch more Kuriko, catch up with that, and be able to do reviews on it. And on the sideline, I've been reading more of Roka and Overlord when I have time, when I, you know, do other things and not watching anime. I've been, you know, reading Roka and Overlord. Now, some have been asking, where is the Food Wars, you know, manga reviews and stuff? Like I said in my final Food Wars review, I'm going to be reading the manga, but I'm not going to try to rush it completely to where I'm caught up in a day. It'll take Give me some time. Right now, I'm going back to my backlog I've had for a while now. Like, you know, Pandora Hearts, Claymore, you know, and different things I've had 
sitting on the side. I need to get back to that stuff because that needs to come first before anything else. So give me time to catch up to my other things and then I will try to eventually get to, you know, Food Wars and do reviews on that. But besides that, getting off of that now, the next thing I want to talk about is just the hair. Now, a couple of achievements have been mentioning all week, and it's kind of died down a little bit, but I do see it every day. Some of you are asking, like, what's with the black hair? Why didn't you keep with the purple? Well, purple, the purple is fading. If you look at the final videos I did with the purple hair, it was fading. And so I went to Walmart to try to get more purple hair dye because it was fading, and they didn't have any purple hair dye. And so being kind of worried, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get some black hair dye, and I just dyed my hair black. So that explains why my hair is black instead of purple. It's because I had no more purple hair dye for I can make it to where it looked better purple because it was fading out. And I didn't want to wait, you know, a couple days to have purple. So I was like, screw it. I just made it all black and here we are. So that explains the hair. Now that I got that out of the way, a couple things I also want to mention is, um, let's see. Uh, I'm missing a couple things. <sighs> I forgot it. I fucking forgot. I'll probably remember when I'm done with this video, but fuck, I forgot what I wanted to say. So anyways, let's get into some fan mail. I've got a uh, couple of packages here I want to get into. And before I actually get into that, I want to say that I hope all of you are having a good day or good night or, you know, wherever you are right now, whatever time or wherever you're watching this right now, I hope you're having a good day and I wish you many good days ahead of you because you Cheebits are like family to me. You are. You guys support me quite a bit and you've all helped me, you know, through difficult times. So, thank you. I I'm very thankful for that. Without all of you, I wouldn't be here. So now that I've said that and I got some feels in me, let's uh, do some of this fan mail. So the first package to start off with, let's see, just my name on it, and it's from Chicago. Ooh. We have Pandora Hearts Volume 11. As I already said at the beginning of this video, I I've been reading it. I'm trying to catch up. Or I could do my backlog reviews because I need to do them. Volume 11. I like that. Who in the hell is that? Um, who the hell is that? I, I think I recognize. It's been a while. Okay, I, I won't dwell on that. We have Assassination Classroom. Karma. I, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but it's it's a little karma. They're all, they're all? That That's quality right there. Okay, good taste. Good taste. Okay, so we have a letter here. Let's read this letter. Dear Chibi, Rosie here again. Oh, how you doing, Rosie? Enough of hentai and read Pandora Hearts. I only... Hope you haven't gotten this volume. No, I haven't. I actually, I think we have the volume eight, volume eight or nine or so. Which reminds me, how many volumes do you have of Pandora Hearts? I have about up to volume eight or nine. One of those. I, I need to look because I got to look through them all. I got to organize my shelves again. I'd say volume eight is the highest volume I have. Let's see. I know so far one through eight last time I saw. I will help you with Rosaro Vampire and Vampire 2. I am writing this from the rant of Tokyo Ghoul and what Studio Clown did. I have to say, I am pissed off. Not planning on buying the DVD, only the manga. Do you have Ishida on Instagram or the Twitter? Yeah, Ishida's on uh, Twitter. If you were to go to Google and just type in Ishida Twitter, it pops up right right off the bat on Google. Um, for Instagram, the username is Ishida Sui, and it's got a picture of Heisei. Just letting you know. Lots of love, Rosie. Thank you very much, Rosie. Ah, oh, Pedro! Oh, how you doing, Pedro? Huh. Pedro, I think uh, you sent me something before, haven't you? Greetings, Sir Chibi of the Oceanus Yurzine. What? What? After the fiasco of the Shikata CD letter, I'm making this one using the computer. So how is it kicking? Oh, yeah, it is you, Pedro. Okay. So how is it kicking? Pretty good. Besides it being chilly and cold, which I need to start pulling up my long sleeves, it's pretty damn nice. First and foremost, congratulations. The last time I sent you something, you were at 50k. Now you're already at 55k plus. At this pace, you might reach 100k before the end of the year. I don't know if we'll make it to 100k before the end of the year, but if we do, uh, as I said, I'm going to have to do something very special for 100k. For 80k, as I said, I'm going to be doing a live stream. I got to pull up my uh, webcam and stuff. I'm going to try to do a live stream for 80k. And for 100k, I got to do something. I, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for 100k. Let's see. Speaking of endings, summer season is ending. I didn't like it that much, to be honest, but I have yet to watch Yusha and Classroom Crisis. For now, I think my favorite is Chaos Dragon, because that show is so bad that anything I watch after it feels like a 10 out of 10. True that. 
Anyway, it's about the gifts I sent you. Do I really need to freaking introduce Pokemon Ortis or Smash Bros? I hope you enjoy. Now on to the lesser known ones. Tales of Abyss is the remake of a PS2 game, but here it does not have two minute long loading screens, which, which helps a lot. It's a good game to introduce anyone to the Tales series. I love Tales of Asperia. The action combat system is quite good for a JRPG, and the story feels like two seasons worth of anime. Note, Colonel Curtis is a fucking badass. Rune Factory 4. It takes everything the other games did right and does it better. I have never been this satisfied with a sequel before. The farming and crafting is relaxing, and waifus and events are heartwarming and funny, and the combat can be quite satisfying at times. A good game to take your mind out of all the hentai you've been receiving. Oh well, since I'm already sending this, I might as well talk about the uh, Symphonian gear. Symphon gear? I know your schedule's super packed and don't take this as a recommendation, but more like a shout out for a show that not many people know. The main deal with it is how you take the dumb part of it, which is like 90% of its action in the S and Slice of Life scenes. Some say it's a fun dumb like Kill a Kill or JoJo. Others argue that it's dumb dumb like say Cross Angie. It heavily depends on how you feel about a bunch of mecha girls singing into battle. Singing in the battle? What? Singing in the battle, which results in combat so ridiculous, one of them ended with the K2 is now only the third highest mountain in the world. What? People die if they are killed, and I'll come back alive even if it kills me. Oh my god, that dialogue. Recently, Crunchy picked it up and has both Season 3 and 1 with promises of getting the second one before the end of the year. Funimation also has picked up Season 1 back in 2012, but since it was a flop, they dropped it. Big mistake. It got better with each new season, and the third one is currently the best-selling show of this season. Being around Dorotoro, Steins Gate, and SAO2 cell numbers. Oh, damn. And I think that is all. Enjoy your games, and have a nice day. You have a nice day too, Pedro. Thank you. Pokemon Me I have not played a Mega- Oh shit. Don't get me into Pokemon, man. Don't get- I, When I used to play- Oh god. Oh, oh crap. I used to be so into Pokemon in the past. Like, you know, I dropped off a of Pokemon around Diamond and Pearl. And I played the shit out of Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, and then, you know, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And then, you know, previous, you know, Red, Blue, and Yellow. I played the shit out of those Pokemon games, beat them multiple times, got all the legendaries, all the Pokemon. Oh, it's been forever since I've just sat down and played a good Pokemon game. And seeing a remake of Ruby, oh man, brings back memories. Brings back good, good memories. I need to sit down and play it, for old times sake. Um, Tales of the Abyss. So there is a Tales game on the 3DS. You could say I'm surprised. I did not expect a uh, Tales game on the 3DS. Hmm. I guess I should have since it's a JRPG, but still, I didn't think Tales games were on the you know 3DS. I thought it was only on you know like let's say a PSP or you know PlayStation. It's rarely on Xbox. Um. Rune Factory 4. I like that art style. I've never played Rune Factory, but I like that cute anime art style. Needs anime. And Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. So this is the new one. I, I played the uh, demo. The demo is fucking fun. I, I love the demo. Link is my favorite. Link is one of my favorites when it comes to Smash Bros. Uh, let's see. What type of roster is in this? You have Charizard. Meta Knight. Ooh. That, that, that's who I love playing as as well. Um, Fox. Ooh. Lucario. Hmm. Sheik. Yeah, there's quite a few characters I used to love playing, but Link is one of my favorites. Okay, and that is about it. So thank you very much, Pedro. I'm going to be playing this. You know, one of these days, I think I might have a Chibit special for maybe, you know, maybe for 100k. Maybe for 100k or 90k or whatever, I might do, like, some form of game event to where, like, I play with you Chibits. Like, let's say we uh, go on to 3DS and have a match, like, you know tournament or something or maybe i do a twitch live stream or something but that'd be pretty cool you know sitting down and playing with you chibits i might do that. that that's a good plan in the future actually have like pokemon battles and stuff that'd be yeah that'd be cool actually having smash bro tournaments and stuff hey food for fun i might do that in the future thank you very much pedro
You just set that in motion for I could probably do something like that. This one says Chibi Onisama. Onisama. Is this like a necklace? Hmm, and I guess the beads go on it. What anime is this from? Anyone know? Can anyone let me know? I, I don't know what this is from. Like here, I'll move it out in case you can't see it. I'll move it in and forward. If you know uh, what anime this is from, let me know. Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> Nagima. Volume. No oh my god, there's more. Oh my god. Volume 9. Volume 8. Holy shit. Volume 6. And volume 7. Oh my god. Holy crap, man. That's a lot. That is a lot. So, volume 6, 7, 8. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I have all the material to read now. Like, bam. Holy crap. I told you, Chibits, many times over, I am satisfied with just a letter. Damn. Don't need to go this far. Crap. It means a lot, but crap, man. I'm satisfied with just the letter. When I finally get through my backlog, I promise you, I want to try to review this. All these series you guys send me, I gotta get around to reviewing. That's why I'm probably not gonna review as much this season, because I need to get on to my backlog. Needless Collection 1. I've heard about this series, never watched though. Needless 1. And... Needless to isn't this like some form of shonen series? I, I could have swore this is like some form of shonen. No letter And I can't thank the Chiba that sent this if there's no letter Thank you very much like thank you very much for you know hold them. Thank you very much for sending needless Is this all of it like I, I thought there was like 50 something episodes of needless Wasn't there like 50 something or 100 something episodes of uh, needless? I want to thank the Chiba that sent this. I, I don't know your name, because there's no name here. But you know who you are. I want to sincerely say thank you. Oh, Alexis! How you doing? How you doing, my old Chiba? Let's see. I know you watch slash like 2 Love Roo. Here's a series thanks to which some 2 Love Roo characters even exist. Huh? Utawari Rumono? Whatever this is. I, I have no idea what that is. That's a weird name. And then... Black Cat. Okay, so let's read this. Here's a series thanks to which some of the two Loveroo characters even exist. Amazing shonen like the ones that sadly don't exist anymore. By artist of the two Loveroo manga. What the fuck? Letter incoming later. Needless by me equals shonen parody. Oh, okay, so you sent Needless. Okay, thank you very much, Alexis, for the Needless. So, Needless by Me equals Shonen Parody. Golden Pincers. Okay, and here's the next one. On what you'll watch video, you seemed interested when you saw Utawari Ruru uh, Ru Mono. However, that is Season 2, so I sent you Season 1 from 2006 from the two, uh, 2002 visual novel, Action, Adventure, War, Drama, Comedy, Romance, plus two genres I can't say because spoilers. Amazing series. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let me look at this one again. So, this came out in 2006. So... This came out in 2006, this is season 1, but season 2 that's coming out is coming out in 2015. Pretty much at the end of 2015, almost 2016. What the hell? It's been almost 10 years. What the fuck? Why is it taking so long for this to get a season 2? I mean, if something like this can get a season 2, maybe Spice and Wolf might get a season 3. Let me dream, damn it. Okay, so... I've heard about Black Cat. I've heard that this is a uh, good shonen series, and you say it's like a classical old shonen. So, what type of classic are you talking about? Are you talking about like a Yu Yu Hakusho classic? Are you talking about a Ushio Tutora classic? What type of shonen classic are you thinking of when you think of Black Cat? Let me know, Golden. And uh, Utawari Ruru Mono. I, it did seem interesting to me when I saw the uh, season two in the What I Will Watch, and I was like, hmm. So, for this to be a 2006 series, but the new one's coming out... I, that is crazy! That's rare! It must have had a huge fan base for it to warrant a season 2. Like, it, the fan base has to be very faithful for it to even get a season 2. It's possible, fans. Come on, let, let's cheer on the studios to make a season 3. 
Okay, so thank you very much, Golden. Okay, so Dark Portals. That reminds me of something off of uh, World of Warcraft, you know, the Dark Portal. Hi, Chibi. Not sure if you've watched this already, but if you love Roka no Yusha, you will love this. Howard. Dark Portals. The Chronicles of Vidoc. In 1830, when the infamous detective Vidoc appears in the middle of a busy city, nobody can explain the abduction. His archenemy, the alchemist, the assassin Vidoc has been tracking, is the prime suspect. A great man once said, This above all video games are meant to just be one thing. Fun. Fun for everyone. To honor this man, I have sent you what could be considered the best game of the franchise he helped create. For Sotaru Iwata, God rest his soul after Mario and gang came down on a rainbow to take him home. Kirby. I've always been a little fan of Kirby. Kirby, Kirby's epic yarn. I haven't played this version of Kirby, but I've played Kirby in the past. I I've always loved the art style of this game. Like, I saw trailers on it and stuff. I love the art style. It looks really cool. It's been forever since I played Kirby. Damn. <sighs> it sucks about, you know, Nintendo. What happened? May he rest in peace. Dear Chibi, BOL here again. Oh, how you doing, BOL? Bill Hill here again, and I have to say that the purple hair looks fabulous, or hominy. Lately, you have been getting manga from a certain mangaka whose name I'll help you to pronounce, since his works have always been great. Ken Akamatsu. Akamatsu. Ever since our last conversation, I was quite surprised when you said that you did not finish Love Hina's manga, so I decided to send you its remaining volumes along with some Negima. Oh, you're the one sending Negima? I really want to know your thoughts about the anime versus the manga, so now you can read the series and see where the anime screwed up. Speaking of Negima, there will be a total of 13 Onibus volumes, but only 9 have been released so far. One day I may send you Akamatsu Sensei's original work called AI Love You, which only has 8 volumes. If an anime adaptation ever gets announced for UQ Holder, I would recommend you to not see it, since I told you before that there has never been a good adaptation of any of the Akamatsu Sensei's manga work. The guiltiest culprit is Love Hina, whereas Negima's anime had the excuse of being made when its manga was still ongoing, Love Hina's manga was done when the OVA series Love Hina again was made. They could have followed the manga all the way to the end, but they end didn't and ended at volume 12, or in your case, volume 4 of the Onibus. Instead, since you are now a fan of sports anime slash manga and liked Elven Lead, you should go check out that manga's other work called No 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 No. It's a sports manga that deals with a protagonist who dr whose dream is to win the Winter Olympics gold medal. Ooh. There's a catch that goal, however. Since there are restrictions for our MC like corrupt officials to assholes that either don't believe in him, trying to use him for their own gain, like the mangaka for Food Wars, this mangaka did a lot of research and worked with real athletes in order to understand the hardships that they have to have to go through to reach for their dreams. Well, maybe you could do a first impressions on chapter one. I highly recommend the series. Oh, food for thought. Did you know that the mangaka for Food Wars was working on a hentai manga before he or she moved to work on the series right now? I have heard about that. Now we get to a subject matter that I thought we were done with. Are you ready to have a bomb go off in your head, Chibi? Remember when I told you that Sekai's best friend, Setsuna, is also her half-sister and we agreed that the MC Makoto is irredeemable? It turns out that there are three or more connected to each other than we have ever fought, and it goes all the way back to Makoto's father in a plot point revealed in Summer Day. What the fuck? And Sekai's mother, along with several other kids that are characters in the franchise, who are, are the half-sisters of Makoto, then got intimate with them to conceive both Setsuna and Sekai themselves. What? This makes Makoto both Setsuna and Sekai's half-brother in- What the fuck? Let that sink in for a moment, Chibi. Now that that's a whole new level of messed up, wouldn't you agree? No words. No comment. Okay, unless there's something more shocking comes up, I think we can agree that we are done with school days. This is the last time we will ever talk about this series. It's great to see that you have enjoyed Food Wars to the extent that you have, Chibi, so I hope you get to the manga since the latest chapters have dropped bomb after bomb on us readers. As I recall from our last discussion, you told me that you did not like Arena very much. I agree with that notion, as her development, if you can even call it that, is lacking severely. There are setups for development, but there is a huge difference between setup and actual development, and everyone who tells you otherwise, Chibi, are lying to themselves. Hell, her cousin Alice, I feel, is a much more interesting female character than Arena herself, even though she gets so much exposure for the series. While we are on this topic, what are your thoughts on Arena's cousin, Alice? 
best girl. Besides Megami, of course. She's kind of one of the best girls. I bring all this up, Chibi, because in recent chapters of the manga, it seems that Arena is finally going to get the development arc that she needed for some time now. Also, do you finally see that what I mean in our past discussions for Food Wars on how important the match with Shinomiya was? I can agree. Now, everything that we have been talking about is coming to fruition, and you can really see how great the series is going to get from here on out. Trust me when I say this, if you thought that she, uh, Shinomiya was an unlikable prick, just you wait, Chibi. There will be two later characters that will make him look like a downright good guy in comparison. Oh shit. I won't drop any names to avoid spoiler spoiling things. I'll give you these two to think about. Perfect Trace and Banished from Totsuki Academy. I, I included a panel from one of the th uh, recent chapters for you to look at and to think about what is going on in it. I'll finish this section with what I said in our first discussion. Megami is best girl. I agree. Then this next subject is the one I have been meaning to get to for some time now. Zenkyo no Terror. While I agree that the series was good, damn good, it is not great, and I feel that it was not as great as you and the others have made it out to be. The reason for this are thus not enough development for certain characters. For the development issue, I feel that Lisa was not properly flushed out, which is quite sad since there were setups for development for her throughout the entire anime. For instance, the issue with her mother and the bullying she suffered established that she had a struggling life that went nowhere and she struck at a destroyed bridge, unable to move forward. You would think that her joining Sphinx would be a stepping stone for her to become a stronger person, better herself or both. I kept waiting for the moment when she would state to both herself and us that she had enough of being a pathetic person will do something to better herself, but the moment never comes. I understand that her joining Sphinx was supposed to introduce a human element to the group dynamic so that she could give 9 and 12 the feelings that they were people and not subjects, but her constant getting captured and messing things up was a sad sight to behold. It is okay for her to start off like that, but nothing ever changes with her, and that bums me out because since uh, of our three MCs, Lisa is one with the most potential for growth. When Nine states that he is thinking of introducing the world to Sphinx number three, I think that it was finally time for Lisa to realize something to finally allow her to make a better life for herself or move on from her current one. Nothing came from that, unfortunately, and I'm just left wondering what was the point of her being a part of Sphinx in the first place. The anime is good, I want to be clear on that, but it was just too short. I still think that the good elements outweigh the bad for Sankyo no Terror, so I'll end my thoughts on it by saying this, Sankyo no Terror is Vaughn for anime. Chibi, expect a very special one in November for me, since I have something very important to tell you, then just not now. In the meantime, enjoy Negima, Love Hina, and all the games I have sent you. Your friend, B.O.L. P.S. Speaking of hentai, you're building up quite the collection, Chibi. I was the one who sent you Renai's sample. But I don't know who else is sending, keeps sending you other stuff besides Danny. Also, I'm curious, what color is your Wii? Does it have GameCube controller parts? Um, my Wii is the Wii Mini. That's the Wii I have. The Wii Mini, that's the red Wii. And is your Wii Remote 1 with the Motion Plus? I don't have a Motion Plus. Here's another food for thought, Chibi. The studio t uh, TNK that animated School Days also did High School DXD. By the way, how much of a fan are you of the Tell series? Big fan. Given your reaction to the movie I sent, a big one, so you should get to the Tell of Abyss anime. I feel it was very well done and well worth your time. What exactly do you think is going on in this panel, Chibi? Catch up with the manga to find out. A pedo is about to come after Arena. Okay, so here's the two games you sent. Behold the series that inspired Halo, with the first game in this trilogy being considered one of the greatest games of all time. For all three games, I suggest you get the 100% item collection rate, both to deal with the final bosses more effectively, and for the secret endings. Metroid Prime Trilogy. I've never played Metroid, to be honest. A fantastic reboot to what was once Ubisoft's mascot. Hope you have a Wii Classic controller to fully enjoy playing as the Limbless Wonder. Rayman Origins. Definitely a series I had fun with on a long time ago, well, like earlier stages when I was a kid. Played the originals. Pretty fun. So thank you very much, BOL. Konnichiwa, Chibi. I am a huge fan of yours from Massachusetts. I have been subscribed since before 10k achievements, but this is the first time I am sending you fan mail. Thank you. I apologize for not being able to send anything. Letter is enough told this time and time again. I love letters. I needed to get something off my chest, and I feel like I could talk to you. I recently watched the anime o Onohana, which by the way you should review, and was reminded of a tragedy that happened in my life eight months ago. My best friend died in a skiing accident. I'm sorry that happened to you. We both loved anime, including Naruto and the yet-to-finish Aldenoa Zero. My life's yet-to-finish. I guess you wrote this a long time ago. 
My life stopped for months while the world kept moving forwards. Anime was the only thing that kept me alive in my darkest hours. I wanted to watch the final episode of All to Noah for my friend, so when I eventually die, I can tell him the ending. <sighs> Fills. Holy shit, the fills. Watching Onohana made me realize that I should cherish life, and hopefully my friend is reincarnated somewhere in the world. I want to thank you for all the hard work you do for your fans, for us. Have a good day. Good night. Wherever you live, please be safe. And thanks again. A Jane. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry for your loss. I too have went through similar issues in the recent years. I, I have too, so. <sighs> Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, you know, man, that fucking feel. Oh, God. I don't want to cry right now. Oh, my God. Here's what I'm going to say. The best way to look at this, which you seem to be, you know, moving forward, is to cherish the life you've been given, carry on your friend's legacy, and just remember him for who he was. And what good he was. And, you know, the happy times you had with, you know, your friend. Just, uh, remember him. Cherish the times you spent with him. But cherish your life now. And just remember, one day, you'll see him again. So, quite the filzy ending. Damn. So that's the perfect way to wrap up this video. You all have a wonderful day. Or night. Wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.